Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. We are going to be getting into some Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, which I haven't actually done here on stream yet. It's kind of exciting. I've got this little bit of a game that, uh, little sandbox game, just been toying with a little bit uh, at night sometimes when I'm too bored to actually work on my website. <laughs> Nothing terribly intense, but I had a couple ideas for transportation. So, we are going to go underground today. Once the game actually loads. Here we go. You button on my mic doesn't want to work too nice. So just as a just a real quick overview. Nothing terribly exciting. Um, got my entrance over here. Playing around with a couple of buildings because I was having trouble raising different levels. Um, got a couple of cool things going on. Uh, I'm missing a few walls. That's no good. Let me actually go fix that real quick. This was... Oh, what was this? The western. Maybe, uh, no, it wasn't a steel either. Was it, uh, iron stonework? Maybe? Mm, clearly not. Oh, iron stone walls, obviously not. Um, coral ranch? Up to a great start so far. <laughs> so I know that's the colonial one, but I don't think I've done colored walls. I think I was saving that. I just don't think maybe there's more than one colonial wall in here. Oh, yeah, look at that. Glad I checked. Alright, so let's put these. Doesn't look quite right though, does it? You know what? It's gonna be right. Because that's gonna go up my thing. Uh, it looks right. Side. Put that there. Throw that there. All right. Cool. Goodness, that was more difficult than it needed to be, right? So, but anyway, just got a couple shops and restaurants and things inside of here. Lots of benches, stuff. The cool fountain outside. Uh, head on down Main Street, and you see you've got a couple of cars that you're riding along with. Uh, you can go inside of what I'm calling the Emporium in there, just the suite of shops uh, and things on the inside with three different style buildings just because I wanted to see what they look like. Uh, over here you have kind of this futuristic steampunk alien invasion. Um, created this big Q4. Um, created a uh, basic roller coaster. It's basic. It's, it was a pre-built just wanted to get some stuff going, but uh, steampunk sci-fi was kind of the idea, and then move into more of the kind of traditional thrill rides over here. So let me kind of show you some of what I'm working with here, not with that one there. Oh, that's the There we go. So a big, huge start. Way up high. Ooh, see the inside of this poor guy's face. A couple of times. Don't show me the inside of his nose. It was neat because a few times you get to basically dive in on everybody's lines and cues and things. So. 
fun experience. Put a, put a lot of fun stuff inside of the queue itself also, uh, which is all boarded up, of course. But uh, maybe we'll walk through and see some of that in a minute. Uh, this one I'm particularly proud of, actually. I'm very excited how this... It's my quote-unquote, my version of a people mover. So it's just kind of an exploration. You can see the uh, the inside mall that everyone's hanging out at here and having fun. Go into Building 2, which has a couple of souvenir shops. Get to see some of the other vehicles pass you by here. Hang out outside, see a coaster. The backside of some of these buildings, along with the... The dinosaurs that only pedestrians off the beaten path and people on this ride get to see. Oh, I'm so scared. The back, and again, you get to see the pedestrians and things moving around. They get to see you. A little bit of open air into Building 3. You get to see the backside of some of these restaurants. Just like the people move, it lets you see kind of the, the over-the-top view of everything else. See some people over there. Hang out above and get the view. You can see all the scenery outside and everything. And we'll actually go outside and I can see the park. And a cool view of Main Street from up above. Get to go in between the buildings and see inside of the windows. Back inside the quote-unquote haunted house. See some other vehicles coming by. And go underneath the restaurants and actually get to drive by the people who are walking. This would make this the street, not the sidewalk. Again, changing buildings. And then again, get to drive by all these people, get them interested in going on the ride themselves, and then back into the queue, which has a cool glass ceiling to look through. Just a couple places to eat once you get off. So That was fun. And then... This guy, again, this is just a pre-made coaster, so nothing terribly exciting. <gasps> oh, I probably wanted to be on that car, huh? Oh, no, this is the yellow one. This is the wrong coaster. Well, that's fine. This was, this was the coaster behind the other one we were watching. So... Ride this real quick, and then we're going to build a subway station to get around underground. So we'll see how that goes. Excellent building, not terribly exciting. Hi. Let's <laughs> see how these go. So Planet Coaster is on the to-do list. I'm hoping to pick that up before the end of the year for uh, for Christmas, your birthday, birthday next week. So that's fun. Hope to get it one of the two. Um, but I grew up on the Roller Coaster Tycoon, actually on Theme Park, before Roller Coaster Tycoon. I like how it weaves in and out of the queue. Um, but I grew up on these, so I wanted a little bit of nostalgia as I'm just slowly starting to get back into building a roller coaster and building a theme park. I thought this was a fun way to go. Yay, that was fun. And then again, the red one down there is just another... Another pre-built, so I didn't even loop it around the queue. I just needed a way to fill that part of the park up a little bit. Uh, another shopping mall uh, down on the inside there. As I go out, you can kind of see inside. But let's make a subway station. We'll, uh, I want some. Not quite that big. H, probably do it. I'll give it a little bit of room, maybe a two by two to give room for lines and some type of covering, and then we'll start digging in. And I don't know how long this is going to be, so I'm just going to make it longer than it should be in order to uh, do it. And then 
I need some type of, oops, I did not hit the transport button. There we go, some type of transport. So the airboat, since this is gonna be underground, underground airboats, that'd be kind of cool. What do you guys think? Um, let's see, I'm not gonna build an elephant <laughs> transport. Obviously don't want it to be a hop on and off. Uh, it could be a railway, it could be a monorail, just an underground, that looks more like a subway train. Um, don't want a safari train, so there's nothing to see. Could do a, just could do the tram too, then that. Um, could make it an underground river and make it a water, that would be fun. But, now let's see. Ah, da, 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 da. I think, I like how sleek the tram, the monorail looks over the tram. I'll go with that. Let's see what direction do you actually want to go? I actually want to go that way. So, how big did I make this? Eight. Okay, so. No, I meant station. Give me a station. I'm still figuring out how all the hotkeys and everything work, so bear with my terrible ability to control this silly thing. Make it noxiously long. Definitely want it going underground. Okay, so that'll kind of get me there. And then the actual... That's good. And I want this to go. I just kind of wanted to go around the park, so... Right, so let's do... No need for a... tight bend even a little. At some point, we could have this come up and out of the ground. That would be fun, right? Here, we'll let it zigzag around a little bit. And give it some obstacles for future development, I guess. too much. Oops, that was not leveled off. There we go. Alright, so we're back underground. Da -da 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 -da. Terribly exciting stuff, right?
And I'll rearrange some of this to actually add stations in over time, but right now there's no need for any more than one station. We'll do the same type of thing over here, but this time we'll have a go above ground for the... Uh, Hey, 207 Bra, how you doing? Glad you're here. Thanks so much for watching. We'll go above ground for the turn. We'll go way above ground for the turn on this one. I cannot place it that high. All right, well, we'll go exactly that high above the... Is that exactly that high above <laughs> the track? The border is a little bit easier here. Alright, so I can't build a turning piece that goes down at all. Kind of want it to do a loop around itself. Very wide. Thirty-seven feet and sixty-five feet should be more than enough, right? And I'm sure we'll have some type of attraction in the middle there, too. Let's have it go above ground here for a bit. I'm sure we'll put an above ground station in, too. Way through, so whatever that zone is has got to be done. I'm still looking for negative 21 or 20, 29.9, right? Yeah. Okay, 29. Good. Let's see, where am I actually measuring up at? Roughly there. Home stretch. I can always smooth this out as I get closer. If I miss, and I did, I didn't go quite far enough. Ooh, am I right next to the path? Oh, I'm right over the path. Well, that's fine too. Let's see, could I put it? could have it go through the building. No, because it would get in the way of that queue. And it wouldn't go down soon enough. That is a neat idea, but I don't think I want it to go through the building. Alright, so... How's your pathing skills? Cool. That works for me. Put the entrance Let's 
see, how do I want this to be stationed? I know that I want people to go over here, so let's give myself some room to build the queue, and then we'll have the exit go more or less straight up. And the reason I'm leaving it here is if I decide I want bi-directional traffic. Yeah, looking at your comments, uh, 207, bro, uh, yeah. Uh, buildings. Buildings is something that I'd never really focused on when I played this before, so uh, I, I really wanted to play with it. I've had an awful lot of fun putting all that together, so yeah, glad that you uh, glad that you like them. It's been lots of fun getting that done, so let's build a super boring oops, queue that goes the right direction. So we'll have him go actually underground a good bit, right? Triple score corkscrew had to make an emergency stop. Oh no, how terrible. Where am I? Oops, actually I don't want that there. I want to start coming out here. Let's start making the actual path, and we'll see <laughs> how I end up doing this, because I don't actually know how this is going to go yet. Two is the level that I did, right? Uh, let's see. It's going to get me there. So that's where I want everything to come up. So I think I made the um, road a little close here, a little closer than I meant to. Here with me to try to figure this mess out. Oh, that's neat. If it'll go high enough, it will not. That means I can't go up here either. Oh, but I can do that. Let's bring the terrain down a bit. So I want it to come down like one notch, not all of the notches. bit much, but it'll work for the road anyway. Let's finish up that road here. And 
and that's fine. Maybe I'll put a, uh, a restroom or something down here. I'll do that too. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, moving the the uh, the exit closer to the queue, um, and then I made this path instead. <laughs> oh, that was a, probably a much better idea than I had. But uh, let me try this out. Let's see how this works. All right, so get in here. That should be fine. Get lots and lots of trains packed in. Actual operation. Don't need to... I'll leave if another train arrives. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah. Let's... Let's start it and go with that. And then maybe paint it a little. I haven't really painted mine either. So... Um, yeah, I haven't done a whole lot of that. Go with the sleek blue track. Oh, I kind of like the black underside, and then yellow seems wrong. Oh, yellow is right. That's the track. I want that to pop. Um, color of the tunnel lights. That's super cool. Uh, yeah, but I want them yellow, so we'll do that. It's terrible. Um, Alright. Colors for the lights. Great. Colors for the cars. Oh yeah, that's what it, I didn't want yellow cars. I wanted the cars to be... Uh, not that. that that's kind of nice, though. I want to be contrasting but not obnoxious. The interiors, that is fine. What color is that? Ooh, the tops. Yeah, because you need a sunroof and an underground monorail system, right? <laughs> uh, we'll just go with it. Let's see. And that's fine. Cool. I have an underground monorail system. Oh yeah, I was going to put a restroom here for when people take a full lap around the park. Don't make a mess out of everything when you come back. <laughs> that's no good. Alright, and that's... Oh, let's actually open the restroom too. That's quite a tease. So that'll work for now. And then, let's see. This is a station, not underground grass. So we'll paint it up a bit. That. Haven't gotten very good at painting, but it's painting like this. It looks like I hit all of those, and then make these green again. Good, and that'll be fine. I'll give it Give everybody lots of lights so they can actually see once this is underground. Miner's light. That's kind of neat, but I've really kind of dug the park light. A little classier. I'll do this design though. So we are surrounded at this point. That and that. That and that. Get the corners right. It'll be good for the exit. I'm not even to worry about those. since I don't want people throwing their junk anywhere. Let's 
let's give them a trash can that's really hard to miss. And maybe a couple of benches right after you get out, right? Because of the subway station. Let people hang out there if they want to. That's good, and then... never used terrain tiles before, so this will be a new experience. We'll come back for the one ones there later. It's always so hard to figure out where to put these silly things, how to line them up. That was clearly wrong. Here we go. Getting a little better at this. Sealed you in. Haha. -ha. Right. That looked wrong. Oh, that's. I missed. <laughs> oh, that's why it went the. Uh, uh, oh, can I not? Oh, did, is that path not going to let me? No, that path was fine. Oh, it's the other, uh, um, the other tile is not going to like it. That's fine. There we go. I think I'm about at the point where I'm going to need the 1-1 one, one instead, just to finish everything off. See, is that where I was? That is where I was. The very last one may be a little bit tricky or weird looking. Let's see, that one. That, and then let's put a sign over it, right? Let's see, where's my signs? I don't know that I've made a sign before. Billboards looks, no, that's not really it, is it? Sign, there we go. Uh, we want it to look like large hovering sign, large sign. Ooh, the circle sign. That's kind of cool, except I'm going to have two of them. No, I'm going to have one of them. That's cool. Yeah, so. Right there.
Go away and select the sign. There we go. How do I change what the sign says? I know that's a dumb question. Hey, comic guy. Uh, let's see. Right now, I was actually uh, making an underground subway station uh, more than uh, an actual coaster. So that was lots of fun. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, well. Cool, so there's my, my subway. So, and then we'll get in and uh, hopefully paint over just the top layer of my, uh, of my scenery here. No, it's not gonna. Oh, that's disappointing. I'm sure I could go in and fix it, but I'll just put something on top of it instead. So. But yeah, I had a There we go. We can actually see I've got a uh, underground monorail station going over here. So that's pretty pretty fun. These tiles though did not do quite what I thought they were going to do, so maybe I'll play around with that a little bit more. Now I can build on top of it, so... Neat. Let's see, what do I want to put on top of it? Uh, let's do... Because this is right off of Main Street, so I don't want to do anything my Main Street, right? Um, I don't want to do anything too terribly crazy. Uh, just fill in the subway with water, that would be terrible. Uh, let's put a let's put a junior in here just for the fun. Let's see, merry-go-round is um, kind of fun. Oh goodness, I mean you know I need a teacups ride and it's got to be fairly front and center. Uh, I may want to do that a little bit more justice, so I'm going to save the teacups maybe for uh, maybe for some future uh, future round. Um, let's see. I think a merry-go-round, since it is right here at the entrance. Being able to see it from the shops and things that are there, I think that would be fun. In fact, let's put it right on there so that I can... Uh, yeah, and uh, let the entrance be on that side and the exit over here, and that'll give me room to put like a plant or something in the in the nook in between. So I won't do that and then Ooh, I can go that way, that's interesting. I don't think that's what I want though. I kind of think I like that, and then uh, let me put some nice trees, not this carnivorous junk. Like a fun palm tree. Don't want any of the quarter tiles, I don't think. Maybe a giant fern would have been better. No, that takes way too much. That's kind of gross. <laughs> I don't want a quarter tile. I don't want a hydroponics plant. That's something normal. Not sure the palm really fits there. Hollywood, though. <laughs> Hollywood. Sugar pine, like that, and then we'll do a, yeah, we'll do that, and it'll give some nice trees right there on Main Street. And I've got a nice kind of two by two space here. Maybe I can put a larger thing in there. Let's see. Let's 
Don't want flowers. Don't want shrubs. Want a two by two large thing. <laughs> ooh, ooh, that would be nice, wouldn't it? Yeah. Get that right in there. Make it look all fancy. Should probably open the carousel at some point too. Yeah. Right off right off of Main Street people have got that too. And I know I've got a coaster right over here already. I want over there, but um, I kind of want to build something because so far I've only used uh, um, only used the templates so far, and that's no fun. So let's give myself something to work with here a little bit. Huh? So we'll do some. hills rolling here, right? Ooh, I'd give some separation with the monorail tracks. Don't want it to be too unnatural like my other ones over there. Heck, let me define them first. That would probably be much easier. So that'll give me a target to shoot for. That'll help out, I think. Help me visually build it. Alright. Alright, how's that look from there? Does that cover up the monorail coming out of the ground a bit anyway? here. Something like that. I always like having a couple of peaks of the valleys. I just don't want to go nuts like what happened over there. See, that's... I'm just barely touching the thing. Super obnoxious. See, that's just that point at the top. Is... All right. So there we go. That gives me kind of a starting point. Let's do a a what? Giant flume, a giga. I don't want a giga coaster. Um, let's see. Ooh, do log flume. No, I don't want to do a log flume out of that just yet. The looping roller coaster looks good, though. We'll get a little we'll get a little crazy on this. So. See where do I want the start of this beast to be? Yes, 
yeah, we'll do a... What? Oh, I've got a mountain in the way. Alright, well, that was just not high enough then. How about that? Nope, how close am I? Very. station first. Eighty-two feet, is that? here's the deal however high I go I really only want one chain on this so however high I go is it it's as high as the coaster is gonna get so let's have it up and over the mountain get to the top turn and then go down maybe under the monorail do that ground Let's see. I don't actually know how to enact a lot of those cool things. is what? 74. So. Nope. So I can't bend it just yet, it seems. Yeah, 
see I'm too high here. So let's just have this go straight down and straight up. which should still be okay, I think. She looks going down. Yeah, that's going to make people sick. So we are definitely going to do it. straighten that out a little bit. Still want it to go down, but... What height can I probably get to at this point? Do not have the height for the loop. I guess maybe I should have gone up higher, but I thought maybe I didn't need to. All right, so I guess we're not doing loops on this one, but. overbank turn, but I think I'm going to save that for more of the end. Am I still banked? I didn't mean to still be banked. Maybe we're 
work out. too much. Oh, that is a steep one. And then it came out of it. I, I kind of just want a bit of a bunny hill here. have the queue wind around it a few times and then exit where's a good spot See if I actually even make it. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. G-forces give me enough. No. Oh, goodness. That was quick. Yeah, so I mentioned I wanted this gentle slope. Yeah, no, I have changed my mind. <laughs> Sable said chain lift. try to have the two connect here. I still like the idea of running around a little bit. Oh yeah. So I was going to have this come down just a little bit. Level out. Right. And then kind of turn. Pretty lined up. Nope, 
getting into that. Yeah, I'm just I'm off by one. Let me. Again and then do this. That looks better, right? We'll go down and way down. That's better. Let's see if we can complete that somehow. No, it doesn't like it. Oh, yeah, so stop. Uh... See, it may end up demolishing this thing and did not go quite as planned. Take out that corkscrew. Our helix down. We're close. Let's do it for now, and then we'll Put a little bump into it, see if that actually does anything or not. Alright. Oops, nope, that was that was it, thanks. Let's see. It's been literally years since I have built a coaster and ridden it. So and this is my last attempt before I'm out of time, so hopefully it'll work out. <laughs> I didn't ever actually get anywhere near the height again, so it should be close. Go right above the monorail. Get my 
myself sick on these cheap force turns. All in all, a uh, pretty terrible coaster. I'm going to open it anyway because it runs. So, high excitement, low nausea. That's good. <laughs> Alright, let's. Over. Cool. actually connecting? I don't think it is. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it does let out into the lake. It's not awful. Right, let her go and see if people hate it or not. Oh, wait, no. We'll let it stop. Uh, I didn't actually put any... Uh, It's a quick rotation, though, so I didn't put any. <laughs> there's nowhere for uh, I, in that mess. Somewhere could be a brake track, but uh, I'm gonna do it anyway. Just to make sure it actually still works with five cars instead of three. Ooh, I got the monorail with me this time. Hello, monorail. Ah. It's not at all what I had actually sent it to build. See, that's horrible. Ouch. My neck hurts and I'm sitting still. <laughs> crash. Cool. And we'll do Themian for that later because I'm probably going to destroy it and then start something new that actually has something to do with the mountain that I made and doesn't go up quite as high and actually doesn't do its thing over here far away from the mountain. But first roller coaster I've built in 15 years. Yeah, not awful. I'll come back and redo this area too, so it actually looks nice and not like that mess. So, but yeah, 
didn't do too badly. So got a fun merry-go-round in there. Built the underground subway station. Uh, put a roller coaster on top of it. That's what I should do. This roller coaster needs to travel around on top of this thing. So, but yeah. I will, uh... I'm gonna try out this sucker just because I don't think I've done it. Oh, this isn't the one I just built, is it? Yes, it is. That's not what I clicked. I clicked that. And we'll get up into the station. And we'll ride this one because I didn't do it at the front of the show. I'll do it at the end. You can all get off. Mr. Basketball Player, Mr. Flame Shirt, Mr. Opposing, Miss Other Opposing Basketball Player, and. Ooh, sorry, man. Oops. <laughs> Maybe I should have elevated the, uh, oh, never mind. There it goes. <laughs> That's not the Ferris wheel that I thought it was. That's further out. Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round. I like being able to see some of this cool action rooftops from the start of this thing and the other coaster that it kind of you know, was right next to doesn't really engage with a whole lot they're close ah. really haven't themed the coaster area itself very much just the parks and the, the lines that go around it Just barely make it. Cool. And then stop right before the track. This was fun, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, my coaster here was a bust, but uh, we'll make that again sometime soon. We'll see what happens. But I hope you enjoyed the show, and we will see you guys next time I ride the teacups. <laughs> Later.